Hello, Tutu Schoolers. I'm Teacher V, and welcome to your ballet break. Today, we're gonna do some painting. So I have my magic ribbon here, which I'm gonna use as my paintbrush. Maybe you have a paintbrush laying around at home, or maybe a ribbon of your own. You can also use your fingers and finger paint today. But we're not just gonna do any old painting today. We are gonna do some animal painting. How do you think different animals would paint today? As always, make sure you have enough room to spread out your arms and your legs into a big star. And we're gonna paint the room as our favorite animals today. Speaking of favorite animals, we're gonna start with Miss V's favorite animal. This guy. Who's this? It's a penguin, yeah. We're gonna start by waddling around the room and holding our paintbrushes in our flippers today and trying to paint the room like a penguin. This might take a long time if you're waddling like a penguin today. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. How would you waddle and paint like a penguin today? They're pretty small brush strokes. Good job. A few more waddles. Nice job painting like a penguin. All right, let's try a different animal today. What about this animal? How would this animal paint? What is this animal? It's a froggy. Now, how would froggies paint? Would they bounce up and down with the paintbrush? Let's try it. Let's bounce with our paintbrush today. Ready? We bounce, bounce, bounce. Love all the zigzags we made today. Let's try another animal. Who's this? That's right, it's a chicken. Just like our penguin waddles, our chickens flap their wings. So let's put our paintbrush in our wing today. Looks a little silly. And let's flap our wings and paint the room like a chicken would with their wings. Quack, quack, quack. Painting. The room like a chicken today. Good. We got some fast, fast, fast brush strokes. Maybe a little over there with this wing. Maybe a little over there with that wing. Maybe we shake our tail feather, get some paint on our tail feather too. Nice job. All right, we have a few more today. What about? This guy, who's this? It's an elephant. Now elephants kind of have a built-in paintbrush, right? With their trunks. So let's try to paint with our nose today. That's pretty silly. Ready, we're gonna use our long noses and paint the room with our noses. Maybe not our human nose, maybe our elephant nose. We paint the room. We have a few more today. Let's do one more. Let's do this crazy guy. Who's this? <gasps> it's an octopus. How many legs do octopus have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. We gotta do some crazy dancing because we have one arm, another arm, one leg, and another leg. So let's use all of our arms and legs today and wiggle and paint the room as if we had eight whole octopus tentacles today. Oh my goodness, this is such a silly wiggly dance today. Oh my goodness, dancers. Take a break. We dance like so many animals today. Look around at everything you painted. And we explored moving like new animals today. So, 
Thanks so much for helping me paint the room. I had such a fun time and I hope you did too. Until next time, bye bye